Yo, what is up, guys? Shops Game HD here today. Welcome back to a brand new video, and today I'm going to show you uh, the best quality slash render settings for the Abram Media Live Gamer Portable HD. I'll be showing you Rec Central and then um, Sony Vegas render settings. So first, we're going to do quality, or I guess recording settings. I guess you could say. So also before, um, if you're here wanting to know how to actually set the capture card up. Uh, there'll be a link somewhere on the screen or at the end of the video or something like that. Probably on the screen or in the beginning. Showing you how to hook it up and all and unboxing and all that. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so go check that out and then come back if, you know, you need, you want to get that set up. It's real e easy, quick. And then come back and I'll show you how to do this. But uh, if you're here for just the, you know, the settings and you already got hooked up, you want for the best settings... I'll show you what to do. Okay, so when you load it up, it should look something like this, okay? Your rec central. And first of all, it'll probably be under bulletin or something. You don't want to go to stream, don't want to go to video folder. Actually, let's go to that. Um, this is where your stuff will be saved at. So go to your video folder, and then just click desktop. That's where I save mine, or select whatever folder you want. And then, um, yeah, and then just hit X. So... I don't like that background. Well, I do. I just it's a messy. Okay, so first we're gonna go to this uh, settings tab. So this is the general settings. So um, my transparency is at eighty five percent. To be honest, this is all default. So uh, you know, it matters how you want it to be and stuff. So English, obviously. Um, run rec central at startup or whatever or recentral. I don't know how to pronounce it, but. I don't have that set up because I don't always record, you know, every time I turn on my computer. So, uh, save to. This is where you actually save it to. I don't know what I was doing last time. So, you just click browse or whatever. And I have my desktop. You just click it and it's highlighted blue. Press OK. Um, profile management. I don't really mess with this. Mine is just YouTube and I'll show you how to make one. So, you can import it and be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Or import a file. What I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. And then. The, uh, these are all default settings. If you don't have this, because you changed it, and just you know, click them. So, yeah. Okay. So capture. Let's go to capture. Okay. So, because we're not streaming or nothing. So, we're not going to do amateur. We're not going to do newbie, because that's when it's mainly set up for you. We're doing pro, so we can do our own settings. Okay. So all you do is click it. Uh, next. Uh, low profile, so it'll probably be like default for you or something. I don't know, whatever it is. So, um, but we'll get to that last. So, it'll probably be one of these two. These were the defaults for me. I don't know, and I just saved that as YouTube, but I'll show you how later. So, game platform you want to pick current PC or game console, or whatever, or other PC. Now, I record on the Xbox One, so I just leave it at current PC, it works perfectly fine. Just leave it there. Video source, HDMI, of course, and also game console it has component and all that, so, you know, it's the Xbox, it's next gen, you know, it doesn't have component cables, so, just current PC, <coughs> excuse me, um, you can click settings, doesn't really do nothing, just don't mess with the color range, expanded makes it, it's, uh, ugh. standard is just better, just go with that, okay, so, uh, capture device, um, HDMI, obviously, if you're doing the Xbox One, if not, hit component cable if you're doing like 360 or something like that. Or PS3, whatever. Or Wii, I don't know. <laughs> uh, microphone, I have mine enabled. Just, you know, it'll probably be like this for you where you can't click nothing. All you do is click or check this little square box right here and then just select your microphone. Mine's a Astro, so A40s. So I save mine as a separate M .mp3 file because... Whenever the video, whenever you're done recording, it comes out to where there'll be a file for your voice recording, then there'll be a file for the game when it includes the sound and all that. So that means like if, let's say you're too loud or, um, excuse me, the game is too loud, you can lower the settings or if it's too low, you can higher the sound of it and all that. So I always do that. Uh, always on. I do that because why push to talk or control with hot keys? Just as soon as you start recording, it's on. So, because I do you know walkthroughs and stuff and live live stuff a lot. So, uh, settings capture devices at zero, microphones at a hundred. Uh, that's my default. 
because I can always edit the sound, so I just leave it at default. So also, um, your microphone should be louder than capture device if you're doing live commentary or something like that. So so they can hear you and then, but still hear the game, you know, clearly. Um, all right, video format. This is really important. So you want MP4 will be selected as TS. That's how mine was at least. But you want MP4 because that's the best. Okay. Resolution. I'm doing this is 1080p video, so uh, do 1920 by 1080. If you're doing 1280 by 720, you can do that or whatever, whatever you want. I'm doing 1080p HD though. Because that's as high as it goes, too. You can't go 2K or 4K, which I don't even render in that. Because that's like Ultra HD, and I ain't got time for that. It takes too long to render. All right, video bitrate, you want it to be 60 megabytes per second. And that's all the way at the bottom. Audio bitrate, you want 256 kilobytes per second. And so just basically the highest, because that's the best. Okay. <laughs> uh, frame rate, just leave it at 30, because that's as high as you can go. And also... um. Excuse me, um, like, uh, okay, YouTube, whenever you upload a video to YouTube, if you record in 60 frames per second, or the frame rate, if you record in 60, if it had it, YouTube just compresses it down to 30 frames per, per second, so it doesn't even matter, so it's just a waste of space on your hard drive or recording, I guess, I don't know, so I just leave it at 30, it's the highest. Now, if you're streaming... I think there's an option on there where it's 60 frame rate, but I'm not too sure, so don't quote me on that. Alright, hotkey. Uh, these are my hotkeys. I'll just let these default. I don't use them because for Live Gamer or Portable HD, all you gotta do is click the little blue circle and you'll be good. So now you wanna hit save as, and then that's my profile name, just you know, blah blah blah, name it something, and press OK. And then your profile will be there, so every time you, uh, want to record you start up uh, excuse me uh, re central or rec central whatever you want to say um, this will be your settings for when you're recording so hit ready and then it'll close now uh, to open it if it's down here you see this or if you open like the, the little um, hide and unhide little arrow just right click it open rec central and I think that's about it profile will be down here if you need it just select which one you want you can create many it's up to you um so now I'm going to show you the settings that I use for um my Sony Vegas so first of all I'm gonna grab a clip for you Baffle 4 video record this the first time I got the Avermedia. Media and see how it's rendering out and like you know or building peaks as it says so we can get the video you know really good so you just drag it in here now it's asking do you want to set your project video settings to match this media all we um, you don't want to check this okay first of all you want to click no because there's shit that fucks it up okay so now it'll be all gold and you just click it anywhere and then it'll just select the video part or you can select the audio part whatever you're doing to edit it so first of all you want to come to the video part you know make sure the top bar uh top part is golden and see how it's all like like look at that it's just not crisp and clear look at that it's just ugh, you know so what you want to do is you want to right click go down to properties Disable resample. Click OK. Boom. See, it's still not as good, but that's because where the frame is. But it looks better. So here, let's see if maybe this will. Nah, that's not a good one. Okay, maybe this one. I don't know. It just works though. Disable resample. See, look how much better that is. Holy teddy balls. Look at that. So that is amazing, right? So, oh, that gun though. All right, so. After, I'm not doing any color correction or anything, so after you got all that in, I don't really put color correction on my videos, because, I don't know, I feel like my capture cards do fine. I mean, you can freaking see the color, you'll live. Unless it's like, but Call of Duty, whenever I used to upload a lot of Call of Duty videos, I put color correction on there, because a, a lot of their colors are starting to get dull. Like, Ghost is just, ugh. MW3 was, ugh. Black Ops 2 wasn't really, uh, like... Activision makes good colors in their games, and they make better games than Infinity War. And tell you that, Go COD Go sucks balls. Okay, anyways, just so you got that done, you know, you know, and you want to render it. Also, um, 
if your video is looking like this, like, ew, you, it's pixelated and shit, and you're probably like on preview or something, it doesn't look crisp, okay, clear, go to best and go to full, now, that's how you do it, okay, so that's how I make, I make it look so good, um, now when it's rendering, it might go like, this might like, jump a little, like the screen will, but the video comes out fine, it's just cause the way you're viewing it and stuff, like I remember on my laptop, um, the video was like really laggy when rendering, but I think when you have it on like preview or something, the video like goes frame by frame, but when it's on best full, it still comes out amazing and all together and all that it doesn't, you know, separate or anything, so go best and full, okay, so you can see and do whatever edits you want. So to render it, go to file up here, click render as, and wait for this bitch to load up. Alright, why is it, oh yeah, because I did, I rendered something, okay, so show favorites only. Okay, so, what you want to do, I have Jack Frags, you know, the one and only, okay. Um, here, let me go to, so, go, okay, you'll be here, right? You'll be in this little place. So what you want to do, scroll down, go to Windows Media Video V, here, it'll look like this, V11, uh, print C, uh, set, What's this called? Like Ascaris or some shit? I can't say it. Dot WMV print C. It's the second one. It's right above XD cam. So, what you want to do? It look like this. So, click this little arrow right here. Or you can double click it, or just click this arrow, or whatever, and it'll drop down. So, just select 512 kilobytes per second video. Select that. And click customize template. Now, I'm gonna show you what I used in my settings, but just stay there, okay? So, <clears throat> now you need to copy these settings down. First of all, you want to uh, name this. So, name it whatever you want. I named this Jack Frax because he's the one that helped me in 1080p YouTube's best settings that I've ever had for 1080p. So, just name it whatever you want and click this little button right here, Save Template, and then it'll be there for whenever you want to render a video. So, you want to include audio, obviously, unless you're doing something that you don't want audio in. I don't know why. Uh, mode CBR w format Windows Media 9.2 uh, media audio. Sorry, uh, attributes 192 kilobytes per second, 48 kilohertz stereo AV CBR. Uh, okay, video uh, quality VBR for mode format Windows Media Video 9. Image size custom because we're doing 1080p. But if you want 12a by 720, just still change it if you want. So to 1280 by 720 p 20 not 20p, 1280 by 720 but since we're doing 1080p HD, it's 1920 by 1080 So pixel aspect ratio is 1.000 square. Frame rate 30 at FPS because, you know, I already explained it. YouTube makes it 30 by if you record in 60. So seconds per keyframe, 5 quality. I don't know why that's at 86, but you want to make that bitch 100. Okay, so you want to go to bit rate, and then leave that alone. You don't need that. So index summary, don't need it. Project video rendering quality best stereoscopic mode. I don't know why I did that. Use project settings, color space default, and save it. You know, and click OK. And then if you want to know how I'm doing this, all you gotta do is just see his golden star. You just click it. And then show favorites only, and then bam, it'll be all the videos that you want. So, now, WMV might take a little bit to render out, so don't plan on freaking uploading the rendering like a 30-minute video and expect to upload it in like 10, 15 minutes, unless you got an amazing good computer, and I have an amazing good computer. But, it's going to take, a 30-minute video might take an hour, okay? So, yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, at least, it does. So, or an hour or two, I don't know. But it's whatever. I usually don't make 30-minute videos unless I'm, like, doing a long-ass walkthrough or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it'll take a while because it's got to get amazingly good. So after that, you don't want to click this. Do not click Render Loop Region Only. Leave that alone. So you got your thing selected. Just click Render. Okay? And it'll start rendering. But I'm not going to render this. But just leave it like that. So, yeah guys, thank you guys for watching, and if you want any more tutorials, comment down below. 
Uh, I guess I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, I might make a comparison or versus type video between the Elgato Game Capture HD and the Aver Media Light Game Portable HD. So we'll see what happens if I feel like making. It. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. It's like uh, work, you know. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, so uh, peace.